Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another Morales tutorial video. Today, we are going to check the endpoints for the Aptos network using the Morales SDK. Specifically, we are going to learn how to analyze the blocks on Aptos based on its version and on its height. So we can input here any number of block height, and we are going to get the information of that block. And if we put the same number, but based on the version, you're going to see that the block height is going to be different because Aptos manages both the block height and the block version separately. This is going to be a really easy process, so let's get started. What's up, YouTube? My name is Vasily, your Web3 instructor from Latin America, Ecuador. I've been building on the space since 2020 with cool crypto projects. In my free time, I really enjoy singing and playing the guitar. And if the time is good, I like to go out and take some meditations. But enough about me. Let's go back to the video and start building. To get the block information using the Morales SDK, we just need one required parameter on each endpoint. On the height, we should provide the height number, and on the version, we should provide the version number. If we input here any number and click on try it, we are going to get a response like this one with all the information we need. The same goes for the height endpoint. And as you can see here, we get a similar information, but with a different block height. To get this information, we just need to access directly to the endpoint using the request method. On today's tutorial, we are using Django as our Python development framework for the backend, and we are going to create the frontend using React. And as you can see here, both endpoints require a really small amount of code. So let's continue. As you can see here on my Django project, I already have a file called services.py on which I set it up my Morales API key. If you don't have a Morales API key yet, please go to morales.io, create your free account, and here in your admin panel, you are going to get access to it. If you're working with a big NFT collection or marketplace, step up your blockchain game with Morales Pro. With twice the computing power and more requests, you can handle even the most demanding projects. Plus, enjoy unlimited daily records on your streams with automatic retries for a seamless experience. And with more replays and longer retention for your historic streams, you'll never miss a beat. Don't settle for basic, upgrade to Morales Pro today and take your projects to the next level. I put my API key as an environment variable as it is sensitive information. So now we can use this API key to connect to the endpoint. So let's get started with the get block by height. We just need to return to the Morales endpoint, copy the code Morales provide us and paste it on our code. Just let's get rid of the things we don't need. And now we can take all of this from here and paste it. This function gets the height as parameter, so we just need to add this to the URL. And also, we are not going to use a test API key, but instead ours. And of course, instead of just printing the response, let's return this. And as easy as that, we already have the first endpoint. I'm going to repeat the exact same process over here, but instead to connect into this block endpoint, we are going to use the block by version. I just copied the code from the version endpoint and adapt it to my code over here, the same as I did on the first function. So now just to check out this is working properly, let's try to execute this script. Let's assign those endpoints to two different variables and print them out. So if I go to the terminal and run Python services.py, we must get an information like this, the information for the first block and the information from the second block based on the input field. So as easy as that, we have the information we needed. As I told you, this was going to be a really simple process. Now, as we are using Django, let's create one view for each one of these functions in order to get that information from the front end. So we are going to get the block height from the front end using the request. Then we execute the function get block by height and send over that information. And finally, as JavaScript does not understand Python string formats, we are transforming all of this into a JSON. And we just need to do the exact same for the get version. Get the information from the front end, call the function we just created, and return a JSON with the response. Before finishing with the backend, just don't forget to add those endpoints into the URLs of the project. And as easy as that, we have all the backend ready. On the front end, I have a really simple interface on which we are going to have the option to get the information based on the height and 
the version as you already saw and for now this get block button doesn't have any functionality so in order to make this work we just need to connect to the backend and then we are going to have the information we need it's really important for us to add a proxy over here pointing to our Django server in this case as I'm running this locally is on the IP address for the local host and also we are going to need the library Axios to connect to that endpoint with that I have here two different functions get blocked by height it get block by person and using Axios let's connect to that endpoints over here let's use the first endpoint get height and we are going to pass the parameter height which is stored on this params.height let's connect to the second endpoint on the second function and with this we can decide what happens each time we use this for now let's just use a console.log on both of the functions and let's go back to the web page let's open the console over here let's click on get block and as you can see here we are getting the information of this block the same as we have here on the Morales SDK documentation and if we go to the version we can also use the same number and we are going to get that block information based on its version so the only thing left for us is to take the most relevant information for us this is going to depend on the context I'm going to just take some of these fields and render a card each time we click on this get block for that I have here a variable called block which is going to store that information so instead of using a console.log let's say set block with the rest.data and also over here let's say set block with the rest.data and for that here I have another variable called render and block which is going to render a card using the most relevant information so if I save this go back to the page I can close the console now click on get block and we are going to get the same information as I already showed you at the beginning of the video and as easy as that with a really simple small portion of code we connect it to the Moraldis API endpoint and get the information of the blocks on the Aptos network just remember you need to provide your API key and store it in a safe place such as a .m file and that was it for today's tutorial. Don't forget all the code for this lesson is on the GitHub repo. So check out the link on the description. And as you are already here, click over here to subscribe to Morales channel, turn on the notifications, and also check out more videos. Thanks for watching till the end and see you on the next occasion.